Rummaging is one of the best ways to find home decor and today I am bringing you along on this little excursion to do some rummaging at a charity rummage I've brought you here before to look for some more additions for summer decor. So I always look at summer hats. They are a great way to add some texture to a wall, to a hook or something of that sort. Linens, always look for linens. Lighten your home up with some um, linen fabrics hanging in your kitchen, some beautiful cloth napkins of bright colors, whatever your heart desires. But linens are a great way to add summer decor. And pillows. What better way to get pillows than secondhand? Yes, that may seem kind of gross, but you can wash them. You can use the inserts of some of them and add your own pillow cover. So pillows just change up a living space very nicely. say this every thrifting video baskets add some baskets to your home whether they're hanging on a wall with some florals in it whether they're sitting on the floor with some summer books in it for your kids to read just having baskets adds again more texture and just a great way to corral items as well artwork frames you name it you can find them at rummage sales or thrift stores and it's just a great way to change out or swap out your home decor in a budget-friendly way so it's just nice to be able to look through and find something unique something that you like and can either keep year-round on your wall or again like i said change it out I didn't find anything great here, but faux flowers, faux, faux stems, always look for those in different seasonal decor. Then glassware, adding different textures, different heights, dimensions of pitchers, glasses, serving pieces. I just always love this space, especially when it's summertime, you can add cut flowers to different vases and share those on your own table or share them with friends. Vintage pictures, they're my go-to for spring and summer decor. And then old pieces, I just love finding them and either adding them to my shelf at an antique booth I have or adding them to my own space. Well, hi friends. I have quite the haul for you with some summer decor pieces I have found from the Charity Rummage. I've taken you to this for a couple years now um, and I have just such a fun haul. There were some good picks, probably because a lot of people donate items from their rummages after they have um, had them. And so I paid $15.50 for my whole gambit of everything I have. It's like laid out in a lot of different places here, including home decor, some pillows and at home accents, and some summer clothes for my girls, myself. And so I'm just gonna share this haul with you, starting with all the home decor pieces. So let's start. All right, this beautiful plate. I think I have one that kind of matches it in an oval shape. So I don't know if it's a New England plate or not, but it has some beautiful green flowers on the outside and then on the inside, and I think, I'll just do a close up here. I'm not sure what the middle symbol means. So it's just really pretty. It's pretty chippy on the edge, but um, just a fun plate to find and add to my bag. This is some um, wine, I'm guessing, but I had an idea to take the label off, um, or not. I mean, it's really pretty. It says, from family vineyards in Italy to your table. 
Salute. So take the label off, take this piece off, put a stem in there, and that'd be really pretty side table decor and glass is beautiful to put faux stems in, real stems in year round, but especially through the summer. Hats, I looked at hats because I am doing a hat accent wall above our board and batten in our yeah. bedroom. And I will probably take this ribbon off. Maybe I could add like um, a more neutral color ribbon around there to um, add to my hat wall. And I really just thought it's different than what I already have up there. It's not quite like the sun hat of the wider brimmed hat. So just a fun hat to add to my bag as well for summer decor. All right, I was looking for some more picture frames to put in our bedroom. I can't really decide my style of frames. These are, this is a gold one, or this is just an oak frame. Um, so two options, I thought, to transition some pictures of, now that we have a little newborn, maybe take a few family pictures and put them in one of these and add it to our dresser in our bedroom. I had to pick up a wood cutting board because they are always a nice accent, good for picture taking too, to put like cut fruit on, muffins, something like that, and just nice to dress up the kitchen. And I can't ever go wrong with finding a pretty decent wood cutting board. So my little one's laying on the boppy right over there. So um, you'll be hearing him in the background a little bit. All right, this is a New England piece, a gravy boat, I believe. Very florally. I will probably actually put this in my antique booth. I don't think I'll decorate with it. But really pretty. On the bottom it says... W.H. Grinley & Co. England. So very dusty, very old New England piece, but beautiful florals with the gold around the outside, but just a pretty little piece. All right, <laughs> I've already got this one up here, but I couldn't pass it up. You saw the set of the creamer, sugar, and the pitcher. I used to have the pitcher, but I didn't even really use it. So I put that in my antique booth, but I just thought it'd be fun to have this to put in the kitchen in another location of my home in my bedroom to put some summer cut flowers in. So I always look for pictures when I'm out thrifting or garage sailing. Speaking of more vases to put cut flowers in, and some of these, like this one, I would totally be okay gifting. I love giving away cut flowers from my garden to friends, family, and just letting other neighbors, people like that, enjoy my bloom. So it has a little texture on it, so that would be really fun too to add to a side table, add to the kitchen table, add to the counter in your kitchen. So again, the glass for flowers. All right, I was excited to find this. This is a very heavy duty um, blue and um, tan, I guess you would call it. Blue and tan, blue and gray, old pitcher. No markings on the bottom, but it says Jamestown, Virginia, 1607 with a ship on it. Looks like whoever had it got it from Goodwill originally, but my goodness. It's so beautiful. Add some cut flowers again and just, you know, a fun piece to decorate with for the summer months on the kitchen table. You can't ever pass up a basket. This one looks like it needs some wrapping or something. It's been a little, little bit worn on the handles, but it's still a really sturdy basket. <laughs> and so I thought I could put this in a room to put the diapers in put um, ointments, burp rigs, whatnot, or basket to put uh, flowers in, produce in, you know, you name it, whatever you need baskets for. And they're wonderful for decorating with, especially for summer. I don't know if this was actually supposed to be a scarf. It was in the clothes section or um, like a little throw blanket. I think it's a big scarf, but I really have been drawn to the tans, creams for summer, neutralizing a little bit beige i know i should decorate with more color like i did for spring but so i'm going to see maybe throw this over the couch put it on our bed and use it to decorate with let me grab my one two three four my five throw pillows i found so they were 50 cents a piece i wasn't too 
um, frustrated about finding all these pillows and you saw me look at them, try to make some combinations, but I've been looking for some new throw pillows to add on our bed, something different, um, or to add to our couch. Okay, so I was drawn to all these pillows and they had some good choices for pillows this time. I was excited, often they don't. So this one first has a little, um, texture pattern to it. It's kind of velvety, honestly, and then with the little pattern there. And I got two of those. I think they're an 18 by 18. And it can be removed, so I will do that to wash all these. Of course, I will wash all my pillows. So I got two of those, 50 cents a piece. This one was fun, kind of just like um, a, a vintage patterned pillow and we have green in our bedroom so i thought the pink on the bed with the green because we have an accent board and batten wall of a dark green if you haven't seen that it was in some vlogs i shared with like some bedroom update footage that i shared and then the back looks like this so i could always flip it to whatever side i want all right more pink my husband might be a little um miffed by why I got so much pink <laughs> but this one could either go out here in the living room I loved the white fringe or it could go in our bedroom again too and then this one this one's a little bit more modern darker pink but even like I don't know I just been enjoying something a little different it's more feminine cottage style I guess and with a little bit of pattern as well so five pillows you know 50 cents a piece I can't go wrong with that I'm just gonna pop down and show you the clothes I have laid out on the floor so that it just makes it a little easier and goes a little bit faster because I found quite a few pieces that I will have to try on and I might do a summer capsule wardrobe or a summer try on video for you in another video and of course I'll be doing a summer home decor video for you as well using a lot of thrifted decor but let me show that clothes to you first. All right, clothing. First, I found these Teva sandals that fit me really well. So those will be nice slip-on just to run out to the garden, throw compost, bucket out, whatnot. Um, pretty good condition. Probably just wash them off with a natural spray just because it's feet, you know? So that was a nice fun find. For my two-year-old, little pair of shorts. Yes, it's missing the string, but they'll fit her because she's got a little bit of a tummy, so it'll be perfect. And then Kind Hearted Like Daddy t-shirt. She just needed another t-shirt. Then I think this might fit my four-year-old. It looks a little long, but I think, you know, if not, she'll grow into it. Just a fun little summer dress for her, and she's tall, so... And then for my little boy, didn't realize this had a little stain here. Sometimes I do... Oh, yeah, that might be... I'm gonna re-donate that. You know, I say this every time with clothes, check it over really well. So that's gonna be redonated. All right, clothing for myself. Postpartum here. Um, I just thought I would, might as well just throw some clothes in a bag and try them on because um, it's just $5 for a bag. So this Massimo t-shirt striped, I don't know, pink has been drawing me. So striped t-shirt. It's um, my size there, so good for just summer shorts and a t-shirt. All right, a black tank top. I think that's also, you know, Tammy brand. Mama boys, this is for a friend, because <laughs> I don't have all boys. I have two girls and now a little boy, so that will be for a friend. I thought this was really fun. I don't know, just to be like bumming around outside. I do like to dress up still, tuck it in into some shorts. But not always, and this was just so bright and fun, and never been here, don't even know where that is, but <laughs> I don't know, just kind of drew me. All right, this is an Old Navy Active shirt, so the texture is really soft, and I like that, so I really like that color too. This, I think, I got some long sleeves here as well, but this is lighter. I thought this would be fun for my sister, actually. She really likes these type of shirts, so. It has like a cowl neck with a tie around that. And then my other sweatshirt got super stained um, last fall before I got pregnant. And so I thought this, it's like a minty blue. You can't quite tell on camera. Just Hanes brand. Just sometimes having a crew neck sweatshirt. Those are wonderful on a cooler day, which we really haven't had this 
late spring and summer. So nice to have that. And then I did think fall, this H&M sweater was super cute with pockets and with buttons. So I was thinking, again, a cooler evening out by the fire pit or outside so you don't get bit up by bugs. It's a little bit heavy because it's knit, but um, just to think about fall and plan ahead a little bit. And then this dress with nursing. I always look for a button down dress and I had bought one before I had baby and it just was super short, but this looks like a beautiful length. It's buttoned down all the way, has a tie, actually like right under the chest, has large pockets. This would be such a great gardening dress. Looks like it go past the knees as well. Um, and just kind of like, I might wear a t-shirt under it or um, sweater or something because it kind of has like the spaghetti straps, but just kind of a fun little dress here brand is time and true so walmart walmart has some decent dresses to be honest like there is all my clothes and i'll do like i said probably a summer um try on wardrobe <laughs> outfit idea well thanks for checking out this video and watching my haul and what i look for when out rummaging thrifting for home decor especially during this summer season i hope you enjoyed give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't yet i love making videos such as these homemaking motherhood simple and thrifted living but i better catch my little guy before he gets a little more frustrated so hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day